Good. Okay, so this is a system of equations that needs to be solved. If we're following the steps that we wrote out off the board in class, the first thing to do is always make sure y is by itself. If you look at this equation, y is by itself. But this one, y is not by itself. So we need to rearrange the terms to get y by itself. So my first step is going to be to subtract 4x from both sides. It's a positive 4x, so to get rid of it, I subtract 4x. I'm going to bring it over here to the other side. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must also do to the other. So I'm left with 2y equals negative 4x and a positive 6. Those are my terms that are left over here. Okay, now we are almost okay. where we have y by itself, but right now it has a 2 in front of it. So to separate the 2 and the y, I'm going to divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Well, once again, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2. I'm left with y equals a negative 2x plus 3. Now we have two equations where y is equal to something, so we can graph them. They're both in slope-intercept form. So if I'm going to graph them, I'm going to go, looking at this one here first, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and put my dot on the y-axis at 3. That's what this point tells me. The y-intercept is 3. Then I know my slope is 2. We like to have a slope of rise over run. So I'm just going to put my 2 over 1. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, over 1. Or I can go up 1, 2, and over 1 in the opposite direction. I've got a positive slope. Okay, now looking to graph the other one. I'm still going to start at a positive 3. Let's see if we can change the collar here. I'm going to start at positive 3, because my y-intercept on this equation is also a positive 3. But now my slope is down 2 over 1. So I'm going to go down 1, 2 over 1 in this direction. And I'm looking for where my two lines intersect. Of course, that was a terrible line. But pretending that it's a wonderful line, we can tell that they intersect on the y-axis at 3. So it's over 0, up 3. This point is the solution for both of my equations. And we can always plug it back in and double check. Does 3 equal 2 times 0 plus 3? 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 more is 3. So that one works. Does 3 equal a negative 2 times 0 plus 3? 2 times 0, negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. So that one works. So the solution for this system of equations is 0, 3.